Now, a balloon is inflated from 4.00 times 10 to the 6 liters to 4.50 times 10 to the 6 liters. by the addition of 1.4 times 10 to the 8 joules of heat of heat energy so i add some heat to the system and i add 1.4 times 10 to the 8 joules of heat now If the balloon expands against a constant pressure of 0 0.95 atmospheres, what is the delta E for the process? Okay, so let's just draw a quick picture here. So we have this balloon. Obviously, we're talking about a really, really large balloon. We pump in heat. So pumping in heat energy. So heat is going to be positive. And this balloon is going to expand, which means that it's going to push out against the 0.95 atmosphere. So now the balloon is actually doing work on the surroundings. So work, work is going to be negative. Okay. So now let's work it out. Delta E is equal to Q plus W. We've worked out our sign convention. Heat is going in, work is going out because it's expansion. Okay. And we also know that work is equal to negative P delta V. So let's go ahead and calculate our work. So the work is equal to negative 0 0.95 atmospheres, that's the external pressure. And again, pressure volume work, P delta V, that P is the external pressure against which you're pushing or that's pushing on you or pushing on the system. Times 4.50 times 10 to the 6th minus 4.00 times 10 to the 6th. And we end up with, when we do this mathematics, we end up with minus 475,000 liter atmospheres. And then when we multiply by 101.3, oops, that's not kilojoules. The conversion factor is 101.3 joules per liter atmosphere. We end up with a total of negative 4.8 times 10 to the 7 joules of work. Well, we just, ooh, no, we definitely don't want that. Okay. Now we just said that delta E equals Q plus W. We calculated W, that's negative 4.8 times 10 to the 7 joules. So now delta E equals Q plus that. Well, Q is positive, it is uh, 1.4 times 10 to the eighth joules. You know what? I'm always confused about whether I should write it out or do the letter. It's, for years it's been like this. Okay, I'll just do the letter. Minus 4.8 times 10 to the 7 J. So our change in energy is 9.2 times 10 to the 7 J. Notice what's happened here. Energy flowed in as heat. Work, it ended up expanding the gas. The gas ended up pushing against the external atmosphere. So energy came in as heat, energy left as work. The total energy change for this process was 9.2 times 10 to the negative seven joules. This is a positive value. So there's now more energy in the system stayed as heat 
then went out as work. And that's all this says. The fundamental equation, this is the first law of thermodynamics. The change in energy is equal to the heat that goes in and out of a system plus the work that goes in and out of a system. Energy itself can be transformed, but it cannot be created or destroyed. It always has to be accounted for. Okay, thank you for joining us here at educator.com. We'll see you next time for some more thermochemistry.